Hello, welcome back. This is Coid Pig. I have another £250 worth of 50p's. Now this one doesn't have anything on the actual bag, so I don't know where this come from. I was told from the bank staff that it came from the cash centre, but they don't normally su supply the, the bags like this, and they generally don't have nothing written on the bag itself. So let's get on with the hunt. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. My current giveaway, if you're interested in winning a one ounce silver coin, and uh, right, let's get into this bag, shall we? Well, I'll start with this one. As I said, none of these are sealed. We'll see. So we're not looking for these Britannians, of course. 2008 is a low minted year, but apart from that, and I don't even keep those. Apart from that, there's nothing to look for really in those, apart from any errors, but they are quite difficult to find, and I haven't found any as yet. This is the Shield, a 2017 low minted year, of course, but there are also NIRC years not intended for circulation. That's 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, and possibly 21, 22. We don't know yet, really, about the last two. Nothing in the first bag. Oh, there's our first find. It's a tail of Peter Rabbit. Very common 2017 Beatrix Potter, though. We won't be keeping that, but it's our first find. Oh, there's a Brexit. 2020 coin, of course. Very common, though. Again, we won't be keeping that one. There's something straight away in this one. Christopher Ironside, 2013, very common coin. Again, not going to keep that one. Oh, there's a Scouts, or Scouting Movement. That's a Centenary Celebration. 2007, and uh, again, not by face value though. for a minute that was something it was just such a poor condition coin well I don't think these are from the cash centre to be honest oh 317 saw that as I was flipping it over another tail of Peter Rabbit Well, <laughs> that's uh, not very recognisable, but it is something. That is a, supposedly, a 2014 Commonwealth Games Glasgow, I believe. I'm trying to see the actual date in there, but it's very difficult. It's not one that we're going to keep anyway. There's another tale of Peter Rabbit. Oh, there's a public libraries, public libraries act in 2000. Again, very common, not one that we'll keep.
Another Brexit. 2020. Quite a shiny one, I reckon that's a 20, 2006, maybe, or oh, 2007, not far off. And it's, for some reason, they tend to be a bit more shiny those years. Ooh, I can see something in this one. Straight away, we've got a rather tatty looking Victoria Cross, the medals, or the awards, or even worse on the, on the obverse. But, uh, yeah. Not one that we'll be keeping. Well, the bank lying to me, because I don't think these are from the cash centre. The number of fines, the way that they've coming out of the bags and everything is not consistent, from in my point of view, with banks com uh, with coins coming from the cash centres. These look like they've been hunted. Oh, I missed that one. There's a Public Libraries Act. One that we've already seen so far today. Oh, well, there's something. I mean, technically, it's only just above face value, literally 50 or 60p, but um, it's something. We'll keep that. For the time being, oh, I should say it's uh, <laughs> I should say it's a battle of Hastings. Obviously, you can see it on the front there, but oh, and there's another tail of Peter Rabbit. Seem to be finding a few of those. This one slightly more damaged than most. <laughs> Looks like it's been the, in the bottom bottom of the ocean. Is that, yeah, th this is just obvious that these aren't from the cash centre. Oh, there's something. There's uh, a new coin. 2004 Roger Bannister, or the 4 minute mile. Not one that we've seen today, but a very common coin. Oh, well that was unexpected. That's unexpected. Rowing, Olympic. I didn't even spot the 2011. Hmm. I don't know. It seems it seems unlikely that this is uh, a coin that uh, is just randomly put in there, though. Well, we'll see. That is above face value, though. An Olympic one that I don't find that often. A rowing. Is that going to be our highlight, though? What? Get rid of that one. Another Olympic. Well, that, this is unexpected. That's a beach volleyball, or just volleyball. An unexpected find. After all these coins, or very few coins actually, after these few coins, we found two Olympics. Still got a few bags to go. camera. I think I did. And this is the last bag then. Could be a key garden in here. Oh, 
And that is it by the looks of it. I don't believe these were from the cash centre as the bank said they were. Um, we've only got, what we've got, 8, to 10, 11 different designs. There were a couple of surprises and both were Olympics. The um, beach volleyball and uh, the rowing. Um, what I'll do is I'll go through them all again just to see if we've missed anything. I'll get back to you with a wrap up. OK, so I've gone through all the coins. I did find a great deal, just a couple of extra finds. There is a one Britannia in 2008. I don't keep those anymore, as I've said numerous times. And the shield is a 2017. Again, I do keep those at the moment, but probably for not much longer, to be honest. The Olympics which were our highlights really. The rowing, which I don't find a great deal of, to be fair. I always like to find that one. And the beach volleyball, which again, I do find, but it's an Olympic and it's always good to get an Olympic of some description. The only additional find really was the Battle of Hastings. Very, very slightly above face value. Well, that's coin hunting, I suppose. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to partake in my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. There's a silver coin, a silver Britannia, to be given away. Be quick about it, though. If you're watching this after the 1st of April, be too late. Thanks for tuning in, though, and uh, I'll see you again next time for more. Keep collecting.